All right, welcome back. On the show today, we're going to be introducing you to two amazing couples. Friends, we had over 200 applications, and with our team internally, we narrowed it down to these two couples, and we're going to ask your help to decide who we work with. My name's Ken Dunn. I'm a real estate investor, developer, and a national housing advocate. For decades now, thousands and thousands of Canadian families have been stuck in situations that they don't want. They want to own homes. They want a place to call their own and raise their families. And they're struggling trying to put the money together for a down payment. They're struggling trying to keep their credit in good standing, paying for rent, being moved around, and never feeling settled down. Real estate investors have been using strategies for decades where they buy houses with other people's money, they borrow the money to increase the value, and they sell the houses making incredible profits. I'm going to show these Canadian families how to use the same techniques to buy their dream homes. They're not going to need down payments, they're not going to need credit, because they're going to buy a house with sweat equity. All right, before I actually tell you who our two finalists are and introduce you to them on the set, I got to break away from that for a second because I got to give away some money and holidays. I want you to go into the chat right now and blow it up. If you are interested in winning this week's prize, it's $1,000 cash and three days and two nights at one of our resorts. Now, the way that's going to work is whoever the winner is, we're actually going to let you choose when you want to come. So you might want to wait until we get two, two or three new resorts open and you can choose where you want to go and where you want to stay. But that's up to you. We'll work that out with the team. What I'm excited about is I've got our, our producer right in the show with me here, Justin. And Justin, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and spin the wheel. And while he's doing that, here's what we're doing. We're using a technology online that allows us to take all your comments, everybody that's here, and put it in a randomizer that's going to pick the winner. And we've got that done. Who's the winner, Justin? Vera Oliveira. Vera Oliveira. Vera Oliveira. Vera, if you're here right now, you're going to get a notice in the comments that's going to tell you how to get a hold of us. Congratulations, Vera. You just won $1,000 cash and two nights and three days at one of our five-star resorts. Now, let's get back into the show. I can't wait to introduce you to these two finalists. All right, before we introduce you to our contestants, our finalists, I wanna go over a couple thoughts on what I need from you. We really want to involve you in helping us to decide who we're actually going to work with. And it's a big decision. One of these couples is actually going to get a home for free. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars for free. It's a dream come true for them. And so I'm gonna interview both couples with you here today, and I want you to decide who we should work with. Now, how we're gonna do this is I want you to blow up the comments below this video and tell us what you think as we're going through. What do you like? What don't you like? And help us to decide. We're gonna take all of this information, correlate it, and we're gonna make the decision on the next show. Now, a couple things I want you to pay attention to. Both families are going to be here today with their kids. The whole family's going to be here. I want you to think about not the words they say, but the emotions that they say those words with. And you figure out who the right family is for us to work to. We're gonna to get to the interviews right after this word from our sponsors. Introducing the ultimate in hydrotherapy and premium relaxation. Experience the epitome of artisanship with Canadian hot tubs. Meticulously handcrafted for over four decades, Canadian hot tubs are synonymous with comfort, depth, and unwavering durability. You can choose from our range of four-foot cedar tubs or indulge in the therapeutic embrace of our five-foot hydrotherapy models. Available in Canada and across the world, Canadian hot tubs bring a touch of luxury to homes worldwide. Craftsmanship that speaks for itself. Visit canhottub.com now. All right, welcome back to Buy a House with Sweat Equity. And this is the moment we've been waiting for. And I'm really excited because I'm joined in the studio today with uh, Marvin and Renee Farron. Uh, this is an amazing couple that I've gotten the chance to know them and their kids. 
and I'm really excited that you guys are here. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so Happy I know. To be here. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I, I know for you guys, this is probably a little bit overwhelming, and oh, and it's right. been such an honor for me to meet your kids and to see that you really are a family and that yeah. you really want this. <laughs> Let, let's start off right away, Marvin. Um, tell me. What would owning a home mean to you and your family? It would mean the world, Ken. It would mean the world. Somewhere to call your own. Uh, somewhere to raise your family. And they, they have the freedom to mark on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, it would be such a tremendous thing. Um, the fact that you don't have to think about, you know, where is it going to come from? And, you, you know, you're free. You're able to build memories and you know watch your children grow on that even if you are not there there is just something there for them to go back and say hey mom and dad the memories there everything so it which will mean a great a great deal there are some things that we are we, we are limited on i mean my children they love to do certain things like my child elizabeth my firstborn she is um she's musically inclined she loves to beat drums. She loves to, every time she'll always try to make some tune, right? And they, my um, Eliana and my son, Emmanuel, they would like to sing along and join in the, but it's not um, so conducive where we're at. Cause you know, we have neighbors and the, the apartments are so. So you live in an apartment right, now? Right, and they're so, they, you know, they, it's not soundproof. Yeah, so sure. So we don't really try, we try not to disturb. I know, Renee, you were saying earlier that um, that you've always wanted a house. And so, like, I'm all, I'm wondering, if you've always wanted a house, what stopped you from doing it in the past? Money. Uh, we don't have any money. That that uh, initial down payment, that's, that's a killer, man. That's hard to come by. <laughs> yeah, because you have yeah. a decent job. You work for Hydro One. Your yes, wife sir. has a great job. You do okay with your family, but just putting together that yeah. 80, 90, 100 thousand dollars is tough, isn't it? That's a, that's a, that, that will take about 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so part of what we're going to do, like I was telling you, is we're going to go find a house and buy it at under market value. And we're going to be looking for a place that needs lots of work. Okay. And this is not a charity project. We're not going to yes. literally just put a house in your hands. We're yes. going to get you involved in this. You're going to do the renovations. You're going to be helping with it. And so what kind of experience do you have in doing physical labor? Are you open? To, are you willing to do that? Yes, sir. I have no problem with that, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm a power line technician, so I have to climb um, poles and towers. Yeah, so our labor is not foreign to me, man. We're hardworking people. All right, and we never we never uh, back down from a challenge. So if this is a challenge, this is a new experience for us. We are excited. We we will do it. Awesome. No, that, we will do it. How do you think owning your own house will help your kids grow up? How it will help them? Yeah. Are how they, would it help them? They, so they will not be limited anymore. They will be able to express themselves because we surely allow them to. When they were well, not not few a few months ago, pretty much. Um, we started going out in the, we have our nature walks. Okay. So having that backyard space and we I I started to let them zoom in on ants and we watch how the ants will, you know, they like to see the squirrels outside and stuff like that. So that backyard experience and everything, I mean, like, and they will know too how to maneuver certain things in the home, you know, take care of their space, take care of the things that we have, you know, and cherry certain things. What's life like now for you? Oh, so we're living... Um, in Ajax at an apartment that's off um, Harwood and Bailey. Okay. Yeah. So. How many bedrooms in the apartment? Two, two bedrooms. Yeah, we have three kids. Three kids uh, and one on the way. One on the way, yes. In a two-bedroom apartment. <laughs> yes, sir. So, and what are you paying for a two-bedroom apartment in Ajax? Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed to say, I paid um, two thousand six hundred dollars. <laughs> Twenty six hundred dollars a month. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god. I'd rather pay that in mortgage, man. <laughs> so, so listen, um, it's our audience that's going to decide who we're working with. I want you yes. to tell the audience why they should decide on the Farron family. Guys, we deserve that house, guys. We, we need it. We have to have it. We have, um, you can say, four kids. And um, it will be a dream come true, man, to get that house in some, some way that we can call our own. We want that house! <laughs> <laughs> Yay. 
So friends, that's <laughs> Marvin and Renee Farron. We're going to leave it up to you. We want your help to help us understand who it is we should be, should be working with. Do you think that Marvin and Farron and these beautiful children deserve a house of their own? Just go into the chat and let me know, and we'll make the announcement next week. If you live in this amazing country and you dream about having a house for your family, a home you can call your own, but you haven't been able to do that because you have a hard time building up a down payment or the banks are telling you they can't help you because of credit, then pay attention. This ad is for you. My name is Ken Dunn and I'm a real estate investor and a national housing advocate. I have to tell you, there's a housing crisis going on right now, but the governments aren't going to fix it for you. All the governments are worried about is building more apartments, building more rental units. But until we figure out a way to help Canadians right across this country to buy homes with no money, then the crisis is never going to end. But don't worry, I've got the solution. I've been investing in real estate projects for more than 30 years, and I've never used any of my own money to buy the real estate. Here's what happens. I find a place that I wanna buy. I look for places that are cheaper, than the market. So they're the below value and I buy the, the properties with private money, 100%. And then I renovate the properties, increase the value. Then I go to the bank and say, hey, I own this house that's worth 800,000 and I only need a mortgage for 600,000 and they give me the mortgages. And you know what the dirty little secret the banks won't tell you is? If you have equity in the property, they're not gonna ask to see your credit. They're not gonna ask about your loans. They don't ask about any of that stuff. I want to show you how to do this. I've helped hundreds of Canadian families just like you to buy homes without a down payment. And in this live workshop, I'm going to show you how to go out and find an undervalue house in your community that would make the right home for your family. And it's a fixer upper. Then I'm going to show you how to buy that property without using any money. You use private investors funds and I'll show you how to get them. Then I'm going to show you how to renovate the property using other people's money. And then once it's done, you're going to own a house that's got hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity in it. And you can easily get a bank loan and live happily ever after. It's called buying a house with sweat equity. And if you click on the link, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're on to the next family now. I know I'm making this hard for you, but I really need your help because we want to help one of these families to actually own their own home. And now I'm joined in the studio by Wasim and Shaheen Ali and their amazing daughters. How are you guys today? Hello. Good morning. Thank you guys for being here. So listen, let's talk openly about this. And I'd love to hear from everybody. What would it mean to you guys as a family to actually own a home? So I'm going to allow my wife, beautiful wife, to answer that. Okay. Uh, so for us, owning a home will actually be a dream come true. A dream that we've been dreaming since 2001. And it's something that, uh, as we say that our children represent us, the, uh, the house will represent us. So basically, what we are, we would like to design it that way. We would like to see it that way. And it's something that nobody, it will be something that we own. It will be our uh, own uh, security for us and something that nobody can kick us out from. Nobody yeah. can just tell us that, okay, you know what, we want to sell, please, you know, you have to leave, look for something else. And our own home would be something where we, uh, you know, create our memories because our kids, one day they might go out to study, they might get married, they might go, but all that we have in that house that we own will be memories to cherish where they would probably come with their kids and, you know, uh, be with us and say oh you know what this was my room i did this here i did that there and uh, it will be something that we will be looking forward to always where we will be spending our uh, you know old age our old uh, days so yeah yes <laughs> something around those we've lines. always rented so you know uh, having a house to call our own uh, would be actually a very big dream come true uh, i've tried many times uh, buying a house uh, i've tried twice uh, the developers ran away with all of our money so the, you know uh, we've never been you know we've never recovered from that so well, what do you mean by that like you you actually had money to buy a house and you so we saved uh, when we were young when we didn't have kids uh, we saved some money and we gave to a developer once 
uh, that developer because uh, the first crisis came in 2008 sometime. So the developer couldn't develop. So they said, you know, we cannot develop. Uh, the money's gone. Uh, there's no way to recover it. Uh, so, uh, you know, we couldn't do much. And that was your, your original down payment that you yeah. had saved for a house. Yeah. So we had saved like six years. We saved for money and uh, we paid down payments and uh, the developer just didn't develop. Wow. Uh, and then we again did the same thing. We saved a lot of money again. And uh, this time, you know, uh, it was a smaller down payment. And we again gave money and that developer just vanished into thin air. Wow. So we've tried our hands, we burnt our hands twice. And, you know, but then we didn't have expenses. We didn't have a big family. Uh, you know, I could, I could do those things. I could, you know, take some money, put it aside and, you know, think of owning a house. Now that's gone. It's a little bit more expensive to live these days with three daughters, I guess. Yeah. Not little. <laughs> <laughs> little is too, like, you know. Yeah. Well, what does it mean to you guys? What do you like? Do you, do you like the idea of owning your own house? Yes. I would love to, like, decorate my own room and, like, decorate the entire house. Like, make it a place that's, like, actually ours. Yeah. And some place that we can call our home because, like, I'm tired of moving from place to place. How many like, times have you moved? Quite a lot. Like, in Canada, probably, like... Four times? Yeah. Like four, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How about you guys? We serve in pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have your own room? Yeah. Pardon? I already do. <laughs> oh, you already do. <laughs> I like to decorate my room, but I want to paint. Wow. Yeah, that she cannot do because yeah. we can't change the walls or. You know, yeah. yeah. And paint too. It would be like so fun to just like paint your own room and like make it so artistic. It's like it's like my dream come true. That's amazing. That. Yeah. So you mentioned something to me outside the room that I wanted to just visit a bit more about, but for you, it's not even so much about having the money to pay a, a mortgage because you're paying over three thousand dollars a month in yeah. rent right now yeah it, that's the cheapest you can find nowadays uh if you want you know uh, i mean basements are going for 2500 nowadays with two rooms uh so we were lucky we found a house uh, uh you know the upper portion uh, but you know it's it's becoming more and more expensive we started off with two thousand a month uh, two years ago, so a couple of years ago, it was two thousand a month. But because we've been forced to move again and again, we don't, we cannot decide and we cannot stay on that uh, amount. And the landlord keeps coming back saying you want they want to increase rents. Uh, and to be fair to them, you know, they even have expenses. Sure. So we just agree. Uh, but it's become so difficult now because I pay a big chunk of my uh, earnings into rent. Uh, this zero, uh, we actually in debt. So we're actually in debt when it comes to, you know, trying to survive on a month to month basis. Sure. So, so you're paying $3,000 a month for rent right now, but you don't even rent the whole house. No. Did I hear that correctly? You're just yes. renting. The is, there, are, is there somebody else part renting yes. part of it as well? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So the basement is rented out to another uh, party uh, and the landlord rents both sections, you know. Basement. And so is, is there a backyard in this house and who's renting that? Is that part of what you have or? The backyard is shared. Uh, oh, but, I see. Uh, to be realistic, you know, we, it's mostly us who use it because the family downstairs, they don't have kids. So it's mostly our kids going around sure. in the backyard. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what we're doing with the show is is helping a family to do this. You know, and of course, it's going to come down to one family. But I think a big thing that the viewers are going to want to hear from you is that you're willing to do the work to be part of it. Because I'm going to help you to find a cheap house. I'm going to show you how to buy it. I'm even going to show you how to get the money to do it. So I'm going to be there with you all the way through that. But when it comes to renovating and banging walls and changing things around, you're going to have to get your hands dirty. Are you guys willing to do that? And have you done stuff like that before? Yeah. So I come from a family of uh, contractors and handymen. So uh, we are seven brothers. Uh, my father was a handyman. Uh, he's passed. He's, he's passed away now. Uh, he passed away when I was five. So our mom brought us up, brought us up. And while we were growing up, we used to fix everything in the house, you know, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we did a lot of stuff, a lot of carpentry jobs. So I'm aware of how things happen, you know. Uh, I just need guidance. You know? Right. Yeah. And, and to me, I would, I, I mean, I do kind of uh, do interior designing. I love designing houses. I love making uh, things that are secondhand. I just make them brand new. 
So I love doing all that. I've painted the house. I mean, my uh, my mom, like back home, I yeah. used to paint walls and do stuff. I've cut wood, and yeah, that's that's what uh, hands on I've done. I mean, but if you give me something, I love to take part, and I would love to do that. Yeah, yeah, we'd all help her. You know, with the time. You do your part too. Yeah. I yeah, they're excited. Really they're excited, you know, to do this. I would love to renovate a house. So we're sh we're showing this to a live audience right now, and there's thousands of people watching this, and we're going to ask them to tell us who we should work with. What do you want to say to those people? Uh, I would like to say that you know, if you choose us, uh, we're going to make sure that we go throughout this whole process. We will be there. My kids will be supporting me. My wife, uh, she definitely, you know, she's the biggest uh, uh, supporter that I've always had. Uh, you know, we've always wanted and tried. We've tried our best. You know, we uh, just like I said, we've tried our best to get a home. It just didn't happen. And you know, if this dream becomes a reality, and, uh, you know, and if be, this is the only chance that we have, then yes, yeah, we will give in our best. We will That's give what we would love one. to say. Yes. 100%. Yes. Yeah. I say that for a thousand. A thousand oh, wow. percent. We yeah, work thousand. really hard to get yeah. this house. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Well, friends, this isn't an easy decision for anybody. There's a couple of amazing families we can only work with one so what we want you to do is to go into the chat right now and tell us who we should work with and take some time to write out in the comments what you think the reasons are we should choose one of these families and we're gonna make that decision with you thanks guys for coming in today and i really look forward to working with you yeah, thank, thank you, for you having so us. much for having thank us. you so, so much. much for the opportunity we really appreciate it thank you all right it's not an easy decision is it I mean, if you think about the Ali family and the Farron family, they both have so much to gain from this with kids involved and just changing their lives. And, and did you guys notice how both families, like they're truly authentic people? They like they're both deserving of it, right? So we really need your help. Go into the comments now and anything that's on your mind, put those words in the comments so we know what you're thinking. And what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to our internal team and we're gonna correlate all the comments we get from this show. And next Wednesday night, we're going to be deciding. We're going to announce who the winner is. Now, you guys know me by now. I wanna involve you in everything we're doing in the show. So we're gonna do a random draw at the beginning of next week's show before we introduce the winners. And one of you people that actually puts a comment in there is going to win $1,000 cash. All you have to do to be in this random draw is give us your feedback in the comments. We're going to do the draw next Wednesday afternoon. So you have all week to do this. And you have to share this episode one time. So to get in the draw for $1,000, all you have to do is give us a comment, your feedback. Who do you like better, the Allies or the Ferrens? and share this show one time on one of your other social media channels. Everybody that does those two things is gonna be in a draw for $1,000. We'll see you next week.